What's up everyone? My name is Allison, and today we're doing a beginner balance ball circuit. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest fitness videos. For this routine, we're working three blocks containing three to four exercises each. 30 seconds on and 30 seconds rest, and repeat them all two times. All you need for this workout is a balance ball, a moderate pair of weights, and some water. So grab your equipment and let's get started. Let's go ahead and begin this warm up by standing behind the balance ball. When you're ready, nice and easy, tap the top. So you can add a chest press with this and start to gradually make it a little bit bigger. Our goal is to gradually bring that heart rate up, warming up the entire body. Keep the core engaged and the spine nice and long. Good, nice and light on the feet. Let's keep those same legs and reach overhead. Lift and pull. Think about driving those elbows down towards the back, squeezing those lats. You've got it. Stay here. Take this four in three and back to a chest press. Tap, good. You've got it. Okay, small change to this. Now make it a heel dig, bicep curl. Heel, heel. So we're still tapping on top of that dome. Nice and light, getting used to that uh, dome surface. Good, lift. Here's four and three and two and go ahead. Just nice and easy, march it out. Arms to the side, small circles forward. Inhale, exhale around. Start to make it a little bigger. You've got it. And small circles backwards. Inhale, exhale. Getting the shoulders warmed. In four, here's three. Take a little bit bigger. Good, eight, seven, six. There's four, three, two, and shake it out. Beautiful, go ahead and take it to one side of your balance ball trainer. Now getting used to that ball, inside foot on, other foot on the floor. Nice and easy half squats. Since it's still the warm up, we're not going full range of motion quite yet. So nice and easy, sink back in those hips, warm them up. Four more here. Four, good, three. There's two, can you give me a little over the top? All right, plant the foot. We're on the other side. Eight single squats here. Take it eight and lift. Seven, you've got it. Keep it going. Four more. Here's four and three. There's two, go back over the top. Perfect. And go back right behind. Feet are a little bit wider than the width of the dome. Toes are forward. Let's lunge side to side. Now, if you like to, you can add a reach towards that dome. Good. Stay with this little dynamic stretching. There's eight. Good. Almost done with this. Four, three, two. Pick a side, hold it over there. Now you can go ahead and have one hand on top, open up the top arm, look at that hand. And at the same time, we're stretching that inner thigh. Take a few breaths in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then when you're ready, switch, other hand on top, lean the other way. If you'd like to open up that hand and look right at it. Again, breathe. And then nice and easy, place this hand down. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, fold it. Let that head drop. Do a little wiggle with those hips. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Keeping those feet planted, arms dangling front. Slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Head and shoulders come up last. And when you're on top, big shoulder rolls back for three. Shoulder rolls forward for three. Inhale, arms up, reach towards the ceiling. Exhale down, one more time. Inhale, big reach, feet together on the toes up. And let it out. Go ahead, grab a quick drink and let's begin. Here are your exercises for block number one. The first exercise is a lateral squat tap with an upright row. So grabbing your weights and the balance ball, you're gonna be on one side of that dome. Go ahead and start by standing, maybe about a foot or two away from it. Now with the weights, palms in, shoulders back. Abs are nice and tight. You're gonna step with that inside foot, row, do that squat we did in the warm up, and then push off with that heel, come back. Squat row, and then come up. Think about keeping those elbows nice and high and abs tight. Now if this is too challenging, you can always do one arm at a time. For the second exercise, we're doing staggered up and overs. Inside foot on top of that dome, we're gonna lightly push off, land with soft feet, soft knees, other side, and then come right back up. You can take this as fast or slow as you'd like to. 
Think about staying low, keeping the knees bent, and make sure the heels touch the ground every time. If you want to take this lower, you can do a slow up and over. spot and do a standing chest press. Now pick it up so that the dome is facing away and the flat platform is towards you. Stand with feet shoulder width apart, abs tight, shoulders back. We're going to push it out and then bring it back in towards the chest. Exhale, inhale. If it's too challenging to lift your balance ball, you can definitely use a pair of weights and do alternating arms instead. For your next two exercises, we're going to actually head down to the ground. Starting off, we're going to do a single arm renegade row in a high plank position. I'm going to show you a modified and an advanced version for this. So to start out, take the non-working arm and place that hand in the center of your dome. For the modified, we're going to go ahead and stay on our knees. Engage the core, squeeze the glutes, and take the weight in the one hand. From here, we're going to row up and extend down. Keep the back nice and flat. Now if you'd like to bring this up a level, go ahead and assume a high plank position. Stack the shoulders and elbows, abs in, row up, and extend out, trying not to shift the hips. And for your third and final exercise in block number two, we're doing a set of glute bridge marches. For this one, we're gonna lie back on the dome, making sure your head, neck, and shoulders are supported on top. From here, abdominals nice and tight, palms are down, take a deep breath, inhale, and then on the exhale, drive through the heel, lift the one leg to march, lower down, other side. Think about squeezing the glutes and keeping the core engaged the entire time.
exercises for block number three. We're gonna start it off with kneeling bicep curls. Now we're kneeling because we're going to test our balance being on top of that dome. So carefully, keeping the toes on the ground, place your knees on top, shoulders back, abs in. When you're ready, palms face forward, and you're gonna curl up and down. Keeping the abs tight and the back nice and straight. For the next exercise, we're doing plank rocks. For this position, we're gonna go ahead and flip it dome side down and place our forearms on top. Two different ways you can do this. You can modify and stay on your knees, engage in the core, squeeze in the glutes, and rock forward and back. For an extra challenge, go ahead and pop it up onto those toes, abs are tight, and then rock forward and back. And for your third and final exercise, we're doing a set of crunches. To get into position, take a seat on front of the dome, and then leaning back, you're gonna go ahead and gently come back and make sure you're as comfortable as you can with your lower back supported on the ball, hands light behind the head, shoulders are lifted. Inhale, exhale, crunch up, and then bring it down. Engage in the core and keeping your elbows back.
from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Oh, getting caught in the mist, there's so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame So much for doing this workout. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.